So I was reading the New York Times the other day, um, and I was reading about this device called Friend, right? So it's a personal AI device. It's a pendant you wear. Um, it listens into what's going on uh, around you during the day, um, and then communicates with you about it, right? Um, but there's been quite a bit of backlash on this. Uh, you know, people are afraid that this is going to replace, you know, human connection, right? Whereas I see that this is a, quite a possibility of this actually strengthening human connections. Because someone who's going to be searching this out probably doesn't have a lot of human connections in the first place, right? Um, maybe a little socially awkward, maybe feeling a little lonely. Um, so, you know, right there, this can actually be a mental health boost, right? Um, but we just, again, when we're talking about AI, we have to look at the ethical side of this. So if the device is encouraging the user, uh, you know, throughout the day to interact with the people around them, then this could be an absolutely fabulous tool. But, you know, if, if it's saying to the user, you know, like, it's just me and you, Billy, you know, you don't need anyone else, then that starts to get a little scary, right? Right? Um, so this is where, you know, organization like Ed comes in because this is something that really needs to be discussed. Um, you know, a great possibility on one hand if developed correctly, okay? Um, so let me know what you think um, in the comments. Uh, and as always, hit like and subscribe so we can keep talking. Have a great day.